NSJ bloke here, and today I'm wearing a pair of silver nylon spandex jeans. These are also known as disco pants from American Apparel. So while I'm wearing this, you know, modern fit pair of nylon spandex jeans by American Apparel in silver, here hanging behind me is a vintage pair of silver nylon spandex jeans. These are Michi brand pants and they were one of the really nice brands of nylon spandex jeans from the 70s and 80s. Anyway, so the reason I'm wearing a pair of silver nylon spandex jeans today is because I've got a great clip to share with you of somebody wearing silver disco pants as well. This clip is from a TV show from the 1970s and 80s. Actually, it's uh, it started in 79 and ran all the way through 1988. It's a British TV show and it's called Tales of the Unexpected. Now, the particular episode that I'm drawing this clip from is called Decoy and it was broadcast first on June 6th, 1982. So once again, you know, 1982, it was prime time for nylon spandex jeans. They were still very much in fashion in 1982 and they would still uh, remain that way for several more years. All right, so in this episode, we have someone, an actress named uh, Susan Penhaligon wearing a pair of silver nylon spandex jeans. She is playing a cop who goes undercover to catch somebody. So I'm gonna let you uh, watch the clip and we will talk about the details of the show and the episode a little bit later. Um, one thing I just wanna mention before we roll the clip here is that this one is on film. So just see if uh, you notice any differences between how these pants look on film versus how they look on videotape. So anyway, um, we got a very good amount of time of Susan Penhaligon wearing nylon spandex jeans in this episode. We're right around uh, five minutes, maybe even six. So we, we have a really good amount of time to see those nice silver nylon spandex jeans. So I'm just gonna roll the clip right now. You sit back and enjoy it, and then we will talk about it when we come back. Very good. Every second. Will Nelly Mary? Good luck. Cheer up after a drink. You mean you will? Keep the table. What do you want? I wanted to go to a disco, Derek. Well, we're here now. Relax. Gin and lemon. Good health. Cheers. You're a bad at aren't you? 
Oh, come on. Okay, if that's how you feel, I'm going. Well, go. Who's stopping you? Right. You think you're God's gift, don't you? No, you do. I thought you were going. I am. You're pretty masterful, don't you? Small women bring out the big protective. Come on, let's go to the park. You're hurting my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't have any strength, do I? Leaving now. What's the matter? A bit cold. I'll keep you warm, don't worry. Let's stay on the path. What do you mean? Well, you said just a little walk. Yeah. You knew what I meant, didn't you? Come on. Right, that's the clip pretty good isn't it I really liked it because it's such a long clip you know we get to see so much of the pants it's not like many of these other shows where we just see one short glimpse and that's it you know we get to see them up close and far away we get to see them all the way from the top to the bottom I thought they were a very nice fitting pair of pants on her uh, they had a very good shine as well now, did you notice any difference between seeing these pants on film versus seeing them on videotape? For me, I noticed that on videotape, the pants seem to be shinier and brighter, the color is more vivid. I kind of prefer how they look on video as opposed to film. Uh, I always felt that video makes everything look as though it's happening right now, as though it's live, versus film which gives everything kind of a surreal and atmospheric effect to it. So 
I mean, the film didn't take away from the shine of the pants. They were still there. You could clearly see and tell that those were nylon kind of machines, and they looked really good. Again, I think the fit was really good on her. If you're going to wear nylon spandex jeans, that's how your disco pants should fit on you. Uh, by the way, she was playing a character named Mary Bryan, actually WPC Mary Bryan. Um, she was a constable. In case you don't know, WPC means that she was a female police officer of the lowest rank. So she was called on for that duty of going undercover to nab that guy who was in the bar. I don't want to give away all the details of this episode in case you want to go ahead and watch it yourself, which you can. It is online. It is for free. You can go and watch it. Again, this is from season five of this series. Um, now, interesting thing about Susan Penhaligon is that she was actually born in the Philippines. I don't know if she ever donned any nylon spandex jeans on any other movie or TV show. I also don't know if there are any other episodes of this show, Tales of the Unexpected, where somebody was wearing nylon spandex jeans. It would be interesting to find out. If I do come across any more, I will definitely uh, upload it here and we will watch it together. So that's about it. You know, I really enjoyed this episode. That was really good and well worth this video. I was very happy to make this one. I've been wanting to make this uh, video for a long time. Oh, by the way, I just want to add that if you enjoy the videos that I make and you want to show some appreciation or you want to help me along to keep making videos like this, you can send a donation to PayPal. There's a link in the description to this video. You can just click on there and send whatever you want. So thanks very much in advance for that. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I've got more Nylon Spandex Jeans videos up. And thank you for watching this. And until next time, keep on rocking the Nylon Spandex Jeans.